Hello, and welcome to the World Series of Beer Pong 7. Before you begin your $50,000 adventure, it is important to understand the rules and structure of the tournament. Tournament Structure Players should remain outside the playing area until each round is called. Once the round is called, players may enter the playing area and begin filling their cups. The round begins at the sound of the air horn. When the game ends, the scorecard must be filled out and signed by a member of each team. In the event of a forfeit, an F should be put down under cup differential. In the event that the game goes into overtime, the cup differential is always 1. When all is filled out and signed, the card needs to go to the pit boss in the orange shirt, and then players should immediately evacuate the playing area. Be sure to use a small amount of intelligence, as some people in orange shirts may not be pit bosses. Be sure to grab and hold on to your cups, as you'll be using them in your next game. Gameplay Because it is impractical to enforce elbow rule, players are allowed to lean over the table while shooting. Players, however, may not place down a hand or move cups out of the way to further increase their lean. Any cups knocked over due to excessive leaning will count as hit cups and will be removed. The ball may either be shot conventionally or bounced. Bounce shots cannot be blocked or swatted and are only worth one cup. Whenever a team makes both shots, one ball is rolled back and either player may shoot it. Acceptable forms of defense include distractions and grabbing the ball after and only after it comes in contact with a cup. Premature grabulation is embarrassing and will result in a one cup penalty. Distractions must be performed behind the edge of the table and may not interfere with the air around the cup or the opponent's vision. Fingering and blowing are not acceptable forms of defense and will also result in a one cup penalty. Reracks are formed as soon as possible upon six cup, three cup, and one cup and must be centered with the table. If a cup is accidentally knocked over during a rerack, the cup is refilled and put back into place. Cups that are knocked over due to a shot count and are taken away, provided the ball comes in contact with the inside of the cup. Good luck and let the games begin.